Chugs uh, probably has the, 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 the best arm of everybody. So we, we know that about those guys. I mean, that's not changed. What kind of what song is that? It's a uh, tree program. <laughs> not, not favorite song. Yeah, yeah. It's pure Android. Okay. Probably had kind of an old school country thing. <laughs> uh, you know, they just they got to keep playing. Experienced guy with Skyler that's running it okay. Um, Skyler just gonna keep playing. And, you know, we just we, we put him in a couple of live situations. Uh, what's today? Uh, today's Tuesday, right? So Saturday and Sunday we had our first live situations, and it was pretty competitive back and forth offense and defense. You know, so all the quarterbacks went in and had some success a little bit, and, and, and then you know, didn't have some success, which is what you're looking for at camp is. is Two, three, and, and you know, obviously Skyler's got the nod right now, but the other two guys haven't established themselves as the solid number two. It's between them two, though. <clears throat> what did you ask Skyler to improve on this camp? And has he done? What did you see? Yeah, he, he, he we, 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 <coughs> we were, we're protecting him more than we did last year. Uh, you know, we got a different color jersey on him. I think when he what he brings to the table is, is grit and toughness. Uh, if, if he's sputtering a little bit, the first thing I'm going to do is get him hit because that typically gets him in the, in, in, in the right frame of mind. So I, I know where we're at with that. You know, it's, it's, it's simply just you know, consistency in the passing game. More than that. It's no secret. You know? I mean, we're, we're, we got big play potential. We, we can run the football, and we got big play potential. I saw that last year. <laughs> it's the, the intermediate stuff that's got improved, which we're working hard on. And I think it's improving. And uh, you know, critical downs, you know, being able to make plays in tight space. Our defense does a really good job of third down. You know, they did last year one of the tops in the country because of what they do. So it puts pressure on us to be able to make plays in tight spaces. So make plays when it counts and you know, just consistency. Do you value versatility for your guys? You know, the numbers being the way they are, and you've got players that are kind of maybe interchangeable. Do you value that a lot as a coach? In recruiting, we do. Yeah. So, the, the, you know, you, you, you can't get good at doing a whole bunch of different things. You, you know, so in order to be great, you, you got to get them settled in. So, in recruiting, you, you want versatility. You want to be able to guys that can play multiple positions. I have, you know, in the 20-some years I've been doing it, I haven't had success having guys doing multiple things and being great at it. you got to kind of lock in on something and be great at it. So you want those kind of athletes. You want those kind of bodies. And you want to be able to have, have choices when it comes to where they end up playing. But once they settle in on something, that's you, there's only one way to get great at it. But if you have, like, 
might say a one-dimensional edge rusher, that doesn't necessarily fit with the way the defense is schemed, the way that we do things. So in that regard, having somebody that's versatile is helpful. Correct? Rare. They're rare. Yeah. Those guys are rare. We've had one Bruce Irvin here. Yeah. You know, that, that wasn't an every-down player, uh, but was a first-round draft pick. Those guys are rare. You know, so I, I would prefer to have the scheme we have, you know, than have a, have a scheme that highlights that guy all the time and have guys out there that can't get the job done. <coughs> Still liking what Javon's doing on the inside? Mm-hmm. He's uh he's play he's our fastest receiver. He's playing. He's playing fast. The, the trick with inside, moving guys inside, is being able to continue to play fast like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with his progress. He, and, and, you know, like the keel, if you, if, you, if you really pay attention with what we do with the keel, he's, a, he's the purest inside receiver that we got. He's the guy that's always closest to the ball. Uh, when we go into heavier sets, he's, he's still the closest receiver to the ball. So he, he'll widen out because he's like our best goal line guy. He caught two fades on the goal line against Arizona State. He's our best goal line guy. Karan is giving him a run for his money right now. And, and Javon, uh, you know, it can be a, a inside receiver. It can be a, a middle slot receiver. But then <coughs> when we get heavy, he can still be an outside guy. You know, so ha happy with his progress. He's just, it's new to him. It's new to him. You know, last year we had him at Z, which was always over there. So now he's moving around, so it's a little big to him. So he's, he's still got a lot of work to do. But he's making some plays out there. He doesn't, he doesn't do it out there. Dana, with, uh, with Shelton, you know he can go deep, obviously. Um, a guy with that kind of speed is a challenge now, getting him to, to branch out and not fall back on that every time and just run a go route. I mean, like, what's the next step for him? I guess? Yeah, and the intermediate stuff. Yeah. You know, the curls and the comebacks and the slants. You know, stuff where he's got to attack the ball this way. We know he can attack the ball that way, but he's got to attack the ball this way. You know, and, and Coach Kerr is drilling, you know, drilling, drilling hard. So he, I, I see improvement with that. I mean, he had, he had too many drops. He had kid him all the time. He should have he easily been a thousand yard receiver last year. You know, with his big play potential getting downfield, he can get chunks of yards, but uh, you know, in order to be a thousand yard guy and a real dude, you got to be able to make those tough catches when you're covered, when the ball's coming at you. <coughs> so he, he knows he's got a lot of work to do. But his work ethic is great, and uh, like like his progression. How much have you had to work with Will Greer? Not, not a bunch. <coughs> I mean, he just, you know, he's he's he, he's, he's, a, he's an intelligent kid. He's a, he's a coach's kid. You know, he, he really helps us with the drills. You know, you need more than you need four or five arms to be able to. You know, Skyler's sore, Chugs is sore because they're throwing so much. You know, so you, you know, we rested Skyler a little bit yesterday with the amount of throws, but we still got to put the ball in the air. So, so he, he's good with that. You know, Cody's good with that. <clears throat> that those guys are going to redshirt. You know, so the the, mo the they're in every meeting. They pay attention. They take notes. They soak it all in. They're out at practice with the scripts, and a lot of times they're just standing there looking at me and seeing the, the call, checking signals, doing stuff in their heads, taking a lot of mental reps. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm pleased with their, you know, how, how, how you know, their attention to what we're doing. Uh, it's just not their time running. Career will give you some really good looks this year, right? Uh, it, it, you know, it probably depends on what the opposing quarterback is. <coughs> you know, Co Cody's pretty athletic, so if we're, if we're playing Texas Tech, it's probably going to be with Cody running around there trying to make plays and, and all that. If it's a, more of a pocket guy, you know, smart, taller pocket guy, uh, then we may use Wilson. But, but, you know, I'll probably rotate them so they can continue to be in the quarterback room and, and get a good feel for how we game plan, you know, present the game plan, let them soak it in, see how it unravels, see how I call it on game day. And there's there's a lot a lot more value in that <coughs> than going to scout team so you can play football. So we need a good combination of both. Whatever.
whatever the defense needs, though, we'll make sure that they get from that position. Coach, Shatter talked to us uh, last week about his note-taking habits and his, how he studies the game. How does he match up with, with some of the other quarterbacks that you've coached it in as far as being a student of the game? Yeah, you see him writing stuff all the time. That's good. I mean, that's, I, I encourage that. Uh, that's the way I am. I take notes on everything. You know, so <coughs> it, it, it's a good habit to get in. You know, it's what good students do. It's what good players do. You know, obviously players are you know, students of the game and all that. So you, you, you know, you, you, the more notes you take, it's easier to remember that. There's all kinds of evidence out there with that. So guys that, that don't do that are probably not quite as motivated to be able to learn as much as they want to. <coughs> and with your receivers, is, is Javon definitely an inside guy now, or is he going to maybe do both like it sounds like Jennings is doing, or are you trying to continue to just block guys that either inside or outside, or one outside or one inside? <coughs> yeah, i got to settle him in. Uh, uh, I, I, I think he's going to end up in our top four guys, so... Our, our philosophy on the whole thing is, is to get, you know, kind of like we've already talked about, just get them settled in on, on being very comfortable with doing one thing. There's so much timing that goes on with, with, with where those guys are and the quarterback and the quarterback expecting them to be in a specific place. <coughs> you, you say it's easy, run a fade route, throw it out there and let the guy go get it. But there's such a timing element to that. Running dig routes on, you know, getting familiar with when they sit things down and when they, they go fast, shallow routes, crossing routes. I mean, there's a lot of timing aspects to it where you can't just plug a guy in. <clears throat> I can assure you watching Javon run a, a dig and Dekeel run a dig is two different things. So the quarterback has to understand that and be able to uh, have a lot of familiarity with what the timing aspect of it is. So he, he can play any of the four positions we have. Get him settled in. Get good at it. But with that said, like I talked about with, with what the kill does, there's going to be a, a time when we get in heavier sets. We're going to want our best guys out there. They're going to be there. Your younger receivers, Smothers and Sims, where are they at? Are they somewhere in the rotation, you think? Or, or what are you worried about? Uh, Sims is way closer based on spring. <coughs> you know, he was here all spring, so so you know, he, he's got he's a, he's he's in a position where he's he's going to probably at some point. You know, does a good job in the, in the, the return game. Can stretch the field. Uh, still learning. Uh, not prepared to say either one of them are in the top eight. Uh, but uh, Sims is a lot a lot closer to us being able to count on him to be a contributor than Steve Williams. At this point in camp, is your number one thing to see who's holding up? Who's getting through that? <coughs> There's an element to it. Uh, guys, guys that can't hold up just got to go on the shelf. I mean, there's nothing you can do. Uh, that, that's not my decision. That's more, you know, Dave Kearns and our, our, our medical staff and all that. They got to make decisions on who's out there. I don't make those decisions. Guys that are, you know, guys that are established, like, <coughs> you know, like Nikhil and, and uh, Drayvon, uh, Orlowski, Noble. Those type of guys. I mean, those guys. We, we pretty much know what they can do. We got to get in shape. You got to get in game shape. The only way you can get in game shape is to get out there and practice and, and fight through it and train your bodies to be able to handle that stuff for two, three weeks. Uh, but not overdo. It, you know, to the point to where we wear them out and get them hurt. <coughs> so there, there's a good. You know, I, we we do a great job around here, uh, athletic training and, and, and Coach Joseph and the strength and conditioning and the recovery. All, every morning they're down there recovering. You know, we're eating good. Uh, we've got lots of liquids. We got you know, lots of, of stretching and all that good stuff. So there's a recovery aspect to it, to where <clears throat> you know we're not overdoing it. They need to get out there in the afternoon. They got to push through things so where their bodies can get in shape and be able to handle the long-term aspects of the season. With with um, widening the line, or excuse me, widening the pocket. I understand the pass protection stuff, but it's what you guys like to do: running the quarterback. Or even just having a quarterback who can see something to run, how much can that help? It helped to draw a game. It, you know, with with uh, <coughs> you know, we've 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 run a good bit of draws uh, with 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 wider pockets and, and, and a better.
better pocket, you know, when, when they're not heating us up. When they're heating us up, those, that pocket does this. The ball's got to come out quick. When, when, when they don't heat us up, the pocket can widen and they can drop. And it's, it's hard to it's hard to find windows sometimes, you know, when they're dropping like that. So with wide lanes, you can you can run that quarterback up in there a good bit. You have to talk much about press playing that slash roll that you did kind of last year. Still in the possibility stage. What are your thoughts there? And that, not not needed as much right now. You know, it goes, it goes back. We love the kid to death. He wants the place so bad. He's so eager. He, you know, whatever you want me to do, wonderful teammate. You know, just a kid that. It goes back to what we said. If you got enough guys to where you can get them to specialize in things, that's the only way you get great. You know, we don't, we're, we're, we're tired of being good on offense. <clears throat> and we've been good on offense you know, for the last year. Uh, if, you, if you want to get great on offense, then you got to get guys that settle in and, and, and specialize on something and just get great at that. So you know, he, he's. He's playing a lot more quarterback than he is running back or receiver. Good of a kid he is. He's there's there that 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 guy that can do that is extremely rare. He's not that guy. So by focusing on quarterback, have you seen improvement? Have you seen, especially accuracy, seem to be a time of problem for him. It, it, it we're, we're getting better. We're getting we're getting better. I wish I could anoint him the next Heisman Trophy guy. <laughs> He's young. You got three years left. We'll see. We'll see where he continues to go. He's taking a bunch of reps. We'll see if he can get better.